and welcome to the Simutech Tips and Tricks video. Today I will be demonstrating how to link a Microsoft Excel workbook with ANSYS Workbench. To do this, you will need a Microsoft Office Excel component system. Double click or drag and drop to add it to the Workbench project schematic. To reference a file, right click on section A2, add a file, and then browse to the final file location. For demonstration purposes, I've made a very simple Excel file that takes the sum of an X and Y value. I've given each of these cells a variable name. Under the Name Manager in the Formula tab, you can check the list of created variable names. ANSYS will reference this list when determining what are the inputs and outputs of the Excel file. Next, we need to configure our file. Right-click on Section A2 and go to Edit Configuration. As you can see, Workbench has automatically identified the sum, x value, and y value that we created in Excel. Here, we can identify each name as either an input or an output, but not both. The parameter symbol has appeared next to each name, indicating that these are now Workbench parameters. If we go back to the project schematic, we will see that a parameter set block has already been created. Here, we can interact with our Excel variables the same way we could with any other Workbench parameter. For example, I can use the Table of Design Points to iterate through many different configurations of input variables. For each design point, Workbench will input all of the input parameters into Excel, update the sheet, and then output all of the output parameters. Now what do you do if you need to edit the Excel file after you've already imported it and linked it to Workbench. It should be noted that although Workbench keeps track of the original file location, when it performs calculations, it is not referencing the original file. Instead, a read-only copy of that Excel file has been saved within the project files of that specific component system. This prevents errors that may occur as a result of moving or editing the original file unintentionally. Therefore, the simplest way to make a change in Excel is to do so through the saved copy. You can do this by right-clicking on the name of the file in the Configuration tab and opening the file in Excel. You can now make changes to this version of the document. For this example, I will change Addition to Multiplication and create a new output variable for it. Then save and close the file. Now if you reload the file, it will update with the changes you just made. I will configure the product as an output, and then update the table of design points in the parameter set window.